Let's talk about luck. The simple explanation is the number of luck you have is the minimum amount of same symbols you will get in that roll. If you roll, you see a bunch of symbols and every one of those symbols is determined by the number that you see here. So for every single of the 15 symbols, the game will decide which of the symbols to pick based on this chance. With luck, it will first say, okay, your luck is five. So five symbols will be the same. And I will roll those also from those chances. And then I will roll the remaining symbols. There's two more things that I need to explain real quick. And one of those is spontaneous luck. So the game has an inherent mechanic where for some spins, it will just give you some luck. For this demo, I don't want that to happen, so I'm using a charm for that. Let's go through the charm setup that I have here. I have five charms in total for this demo. That's all we need. Charm number one is depression here. And depression just deactivates the spontaneous luck. The electricity meter here is to recharge our golden horseshoe because I'm going to show you three spins of the machine, one with zero luck, one with eight luck, and one with 16 luck. And then Jimbo here, I found a Jimbo with minus three spins so that we can do one spin exactly. So just to speed up the demo part of this. One of them is the golden horseshoe. This just triggers any charm that could trigger for sure. So this we use to guaranteed trigger the bell pepper. Now the bell pepper triggers randomly, but we force it to trigger with the golden horseshoe and it has plus two luck for every restock you did in the deadline. So right now, because we're at the start of the deadline, we have not yet restocked the shop. It is at plus zero luck. So let's show this. Spin number one with zero luck. Trigger the horseshoe, so the bell pepper is triggered. The bell pepper has zero yet, so it doesn't even trigger. We had a default board, we don't score anything. Fine. Now we're going to restock four times. One, two, three, four times. The bell pepper now has a luck of plus eight. Second spin, one spin. Activate the golden horseshoe, triggers the bell pepper. We now have at least eight of the same symbol. Here we have lemons. You see we have more than eight. That's fine. Luck just says the minimum amount. And then the other symbols are rolled based on the probabilities. And now what we do is we show the power of the bell pepper. We reroll the shop one, two, three, four more times, giving the bell pepper a total of plus 16 luck which means we will have at least 16 of the same symbol. So if we go for one spin, we activate the golden horseshoe, force the bell pepper, we do get a jackpot. 